everyone welcome back to my channel today I have a very special video for you it is a makeup tutorial on my mom my mom is going to be 69 years old next weekend or actually this weekend uh, last weekend when we recorded this video she and my father were celebrating their 49th wedding anniversary so they were going out for dinner and dancing so of course my mom wanted to look really nice so she went and got her hair blown out and we decided that um, I would do her makeup and that we would film a tutorial on it because I know there are a lot of you out there that have more mature skin, say you're 40, in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and like my mom, almost 70. Um, just because you're getting older doesn't mean you don't love to wear makeup and the techniques that are needed uh, or the techniques that are used on someone with a skin that is more up in the 50s, 60s, 70s range is still a little bit different than those of us in the 40s range. Um, our skin is still, you know, in a lot of cases still decent. You know, it's not what it was at 20, but it's still pretty decent. And even though my lids have definitely lowered a lot and, and they're definitely not as smooth, um, you'll notice that like with my mom, the skin has gotten a little bit more pliable i'm not gonna say wrinkled because that would be rude but it's a little bit more pliable so i do have to do a little bit more lifting a little bit more blending but that's just what happens it happens to everybody and it shouldn't stop you from wearing some of the looks that you love you might have to tweak them a little bit and the products that you use might be a little bit different than maybe when you're trying to recreate a tutorial that you've seen on someone who's much younger you definitely shouldn't get frustrated if you can't recreate the look exactly the same because it's just different techniques need to be used and it is gonna take more time because you're probably gonna to have to do just more blending. So try not to get frustrated and I hope that this video will help you in some small way if you are struggling with doing your makeup as a mature woman or man or whoever is watching this. So as I said, this is an evening makeup um, because they were going out for a celebration. So this is not something that I would do on her every single day. But a lot of times, like my mom hardly wears any makeup unless she's going out. She might put on some lipstick and maybe even some mascara. I don't even know about that. She'll put on like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream or something like that. But usually on a day-to-day -day basis, she doesn't wear very much. So this was a glam session for her. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this glam mature woman evening look, then please keep on watching. So to begin, I moisturized my mom's face with this Embryo Lease Matte Moisturizer. My mom has combination skin. She still gets a little bit oily. Um, then I used the Smashbox Pore Refining Primer. Next up is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Shadow Primer. And then I went and started using this um, Laura Mercier Candle Glow Foundation. I had gotten some samples of it at Sephora. As you can see, I'm starting to blend it in. And as I was blending it in with my Beauty Blender, I decided that it was not giving me the coverage that I wanted. So I went in with my trusty MAC Studio Fix Fluid and the shade I was using was NC40. went in with some concealer. This one was from Makeup Forever. It's from one of their five pan color correcting palettes. I forgot to show it on camera, but I'm just taking a little concealer and going over areas that she had a little bit more hyperpigmentation or some dark spots. You know, my mom grew up in the era where, and even I, I did for the most part, um, where sunscreen wasn't the norm. We used baby oil and burned ourselves trying to be tan. So now I went in with the Perfect Concealer. This stuff is so good if you have mature under eyes. The shade I am using is called Luminous, and again, it's from a company called Perfect, or Perfect, or I call it Perfect. Anyway, you can get it at Ulta and at Sephora, and I am just blending it in with my Beauty Blender, and I am making sure to cover the eye area so I'm also using it to um, even out the skin on the eyelid. And 
look at how that just brightened up her under eye area so much. Now I am taking this Ben Nye Luxury Powder and the shade is Banana and I am very, very lightly setting her foundation. As I mentioned in the beginning, my mom's skin is a little bit oily. She has a little bit oily uh, T-zone um, and she's not overly, overly dry, but you never wanna bake on a really mature skin. If you know what I'm talking about where you put like a ton of powder on the skin, you wanna do a light dusting. Now I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. The shade is medium brown and we are defining her eyebrows. wanted to bring in a little of that golden color. She has some golden highlights in her hair and so I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel in Caramel which has a little bit of a golden tone to it just to warm up the brows a little bit. Now I'm taking that same concealer from Makeup Forever and just accentuating the brows just a little bit more. Now using a Smith Brushes crease brush, I'm going in with Raw Sienna from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm taking that shade as my transition color and I'm just working it back and forth into the upper crease in a windshield wiper motion. Reed from the Balms Meet Matrimony palette and I'm using a Samey brush number 2.5 which is a small blending brush. My mom has some kind of small eyes like I do so this is a great brush for her as well and so I'm blending that into the outer corners of the eye like the outer V shape and then a little bit into the crease and also blending it in towards the lash line. So as you can see here, hopefully I'm making like little circles, blending down toward the lash line, up into the crease, and just blending my little heart out. I'm just taking a MAC 217 brush with nothing on it and swirling everything together so there are no harsh lines. I'm taking this gorgeous brown called Cypress Umber. It is such a beautiful brown, but it has quite a bit of fallout I found. So I'm just taking a flat brush and as you can see the tissue is going to help prevent the fallout from getting on the concealer that we've already done. So I'm really, really concentrating that color. It is a super pigmented shade. This whole palette is actually super pigmented. So you just wanna be careful and you can use this tissue technique on yourself. I use it on myself a lot. So when you bring it away from the face, you won't have any of that fallout. And now I'm just taking a clean brush and blending away. You don't want that color to be super, super dark. Now using my finger, I am taking the shade Vermeer from the Anastasia palette. And this is like a light, shimmery, kind of pinkish toned ivory. And I'm just popping that right on what we call the mobile eyelid and the inner corners. And I know a lot of you are probably gasping right now going, shimmer on the lid, that's a no-no. But it's actually not. You can do a little bit of shimmer just for a little pop and it really makes the eyes look really super pretty. And it's not a sparkly shadow, it's just a soft shimmer. And I'm taking a J. Manuel Beauty uh, Gel Eyeliner. And a lot of you also might be thinking black could be too harsh, but my mom's skin is pretty dark. She's not super fair. I would probably use a brown on somebody that was really fair, but my mom has really olive skin and I just love the way black looks on her. up is Matte Ahmed from the Meet Matrimony palette and a flat brush from Sigma and I'm just going over that gel eyeliner to set it and also make it a little bit softer. Going over a gel or a liquid with a powder is going to soften the line so it's not harsh. 
we went ahead and did the other eye off camera. Now I'm taking a little concealer and cleaning up underneath the outer corners. And I'm also taking a little bit more concealer over the darkest points under her eyes, just to brighten them up even more. And look at how pretty it's all coming together. Now I'm taking that raw sienna and then the cypress umber, basically the same shades I used in the crease are going along the lower lashes. And then I'm taking a little brush and smudging. Now I'm going to be taking my individual lashes with some duo glue. And this was so hard for me to do. I was standing off to the side when usually I'm standing right in front of the client. And so I started doing them and was having such a hard time. So as you can see, I started applying them with my fingers. It was, it was not easy to do because trying to stand off camera and then also had the fan flying around on top of us. Ooh, look, she's doing her little, I'm looking pretty dance. Now taking the shade Primavera and a little pencil brush, I'm just highlighting the inner corners ever so lightly. Next up is my very favorite Monica Dar C2 pressed powder. I'm using that to highlight the face. Look at how bright that's making her under eye area. I'm also using it a little bit on the forehead and a little bit on the, uh, no, I didn't use any on the chin. Now I'm taking some bronzer. This is the Refined Golden Bronzer from MAC and I'm just warming up her skin. As you can see, I'm kind of making a number three um, on each side of the face. For blush, I'm using one of my favorite colors. It's from the brand Japonesque. You can purchase it at Ulta. It is the Velvet Touch Blush in the shade number three. It's a beautiful peachy pink tone and it looks beautiful on olive skin tones. It looks good on a variety of skin tones. It's just one of my favorites. Now I'm taking a little Kevin O'Quan Candlelight Highlighter. It's just a real, real subtle highlighter and I'm adding that to the tops of her cheekbones and the high planes of her face. Now I'm taking my MAC Giga Black Lash and adding some mascara to the bottom lashes. Lips, I'm using a pencil from Jordana. That was just her telling me to not overline her lips. She does not like an overlined lip. This shade is called Honey Dip and it's a great nude for someone with a little bit darker skin tone. You can get this on Amazon. Now I am taking the shade Naked from Urban Decay. It's one of the new Vice lipsticks. I had gotten it in a little sample packet from Ulta and I thought this would be great to use on her because it's a pretty color and then she could also take a little sample pack with her out for the night. So if she needed to touch up, she could have the lip color. So I'm just filling in with that and then I'm going to be taking some Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Undressed and just adding in that to the center of the top and bottom lip to give the appearance of a fuller lip since she did not want me to overline. Now I am giving her a few spritzes of Max Fix Plus and we are all done. This is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing, thumbs up leaving me comments, and look how pretty she looks. Thanks for being my model mom. See you all very soon.